What's up guys, Skidward and Peach here. So today we have 30 plus new leaked Funko Pops to go over, as well as lots of new Funko Pops hitting stores, closer looks, and much more. So let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. So today Funko News is back and we have lots of updates to go over. Now as always, let's go ahead and do our question of the day and that is, do you have a Funko Pop in your collection that is kicking? And I'm gonna go with Sanji here from One Piece. Let's go ahead and jump right into things. So first up, let's go over all the newly leaked pops in the last few days. So here we have some Schoolhouse Rock Funko Pops shared from a nerdy dad on Instagram. So in the set, we do have Bill as well as a Chase version. We also do have the Conductor and Rocky there. Now, I don't know if you guys remember this, but this was actually technically first shown over at Fun Days this year. So basically what you're seeing now is the finalized version of this product. Now, moving along, it does look like Funko added to the Queer Eye set and we have five new commons here. Now, personally, don't really know too much about these. I know they originally made five or six Funko Shop exclusives and it was part of the Pops With Purpose line, I believe their little charity line there. And I think this might be the same thing. I won't lie though, I was a little surprised to see that they made more of these just because they made all the original ones, Funko Shop exclusives, and they didn't sell out, and I'm assuming they didn't really sell that well. So again, just a little surprise from a sales standpoint that they produce so many more. Though I am kind of curious, do I have any fans that do collect these, and what do you guys think of them? Next, for Disney fans, we do have a new Mickey Mouse pop, and this is a Diamond Collection Santa Mickey. Now, a little early, I do feel like, for Christmas pops, I feel like we should be leaning into... Halloween right now or Thanksgiving style, but hey, let's go for Christmas. Now there is no word as to when this is going to release at Hot Topic, but I'd assume it's fairly soon. Next for any 300 fans, we actually have a full wave now from this movie. Now originally we had a Leonidas pop from the movie, and that one is like a 750 to about a thousand dollar pop depending on who's selling it of course, but it was always a solo big grail. And now we have a new version of Leonidas. And that one also does include a chase variation with his helmet on. We also do have Dilios as well as Queen Gorgo and Xerxes. I think this is a cool set to be made. I think it's long overdue for us to get other characters, um, especially from this movie, given we only got one original pop. And even though we did get a new Leonidas pop, I don't really expect this to affect the original's value at all, especially since there are a lot of differences in this set, like the box designs, for example. You can see the original one does have the movie design, and this new one does have that very plain and boring Warner Brothers design. No idea who designed that, but it is so ugly. Next, for any racing fans, we do have looks at the new Formula One pop rides here of Hamilton and Perez. I would definitely say these ones are some of the cooler Funko Pop rides out there. Though personally, I will be passing on these just because I don't really know too much about them, but I do think they look really cool. Let me know if you guys are a fan if you'll be grabbing them or not. Next up for fans of the Friends show, we have six new commons here, as well as Monica should be getting a chase variation when these are officially announced. I think they did some really really cool choices here. A lot of these pops look really fun. Next for BTS fans, we do have seven new pops in the collection, basically of all seven members here in new outfits. And speaking of K-pop bands, we also have first looks at Blackpink here. Four new commons in the set. A lot of people are also going crazy for these, trying to get their hands on them. So the black pink ones were actually spotted, I think in Vegas from AS Collectibles over on Instagram. As far as the new BTS ones, we won't see those for a little bit. They'll get announced here on Wednesday, of course. I'm honestly kind of surprised that we haven't seen an announcement yet, given the pops are already here in the United States. But I will say it does look like K-pop fans are currently eating good right now. Definitely some really cool ones here. Now, next up, we do have a new WWE exclusive over at GameStop, and that is the Ultimate Warrior here. And it does look like it has like a Hall of Fame little golden brick thing. I don't really know what to call that thing, but basically it looks like Funko might be doing like a Hall of Fame line, and this one could actually be pretty unique. I also really like the box design on this one. If you want to pick this one up, it's expected in October and currently available for pre-order online and in store. Next, for Marvel fans, we do have a new Thor comic cover here over at Target. This one is still available for pre-order right now if you do want to grab it. And speaking of Marvel comic covers, I did want to let you guys know, spotted in Walmart stores right now is the newest Loki one there, as well as Max Re Funny enough, I actually found these today when I was at Walmart. I was like, oh, let me take a picture for our Funko news. So if you need Max Rebo or the Loki cover, make sure to check your local Walmarts now. Continuing with Marvel, we do have looks at the X-Men 97 exclusive pops here of Bishop, Cyclops, Gambit, and Magneto. 
I have to say that Cyclops and Magneto look really, really clean. Now, these are all Funko Shop exclusives in the States. These were spotted overseas right now, and they should be going live on the Funko Shop fairly soon. And again, there is also that rumor of that Funko Soda cooler that will probably be announced around the same time if it turns out to be true. Next, for anybody collecting Funko NFTs, we do have looks at our next drop here, which is Steven universe here. So this one will be available on September 5th at 11 a.m. PT and on the right there are your five redeemables. We do have Steven, Blue Diamond, Sapphire, Ruby, and Garnet. I will say that Steven as Freddy Funko is a little haunting, I'm not gonna lie, but definitely a very interesting set. Let me know what you guys think about these. Are you gonna be going after any of these redeemables or passing on this one? I'm telling you guys, for them to really get me into the Funko NFTs, they're gonna have to do the anime or maybe some more Nickelodeon shows I like. Next, some quick Funko Shop updates. I did wanna let you guys know, recently Funko did actually have an event at their Funko HQ, which was Fun Fest, and back on August 26th, they did actually drop several exclusives like Kilala from Inuyasha, that one did have that chase variation. We also had Deathstroke there, FNAF, Echo, Jack Skellington, Oogie Boogie, The Killer Clowns, Toucan Sam, as well as the Appa Poppin' Bag. Now, I don't believe anything actually sold out from that day. Honestly, nothing was really a Fun Fest exclusive here. They just took a bunch of older ones that needed to be dropped and they dropped it on the same day. I think it would have been much cooler to actually create a custom sticker for this event versus just dropping random exclusives. But I digress, either way, we got a bunch of drops out of the way. Now, speaking of Funko Shop drops, if you needed her, Cruella did actually recently drop on the website and is still in stock. And also on the Funko Shop in their new section, they do have the new Daria Funko Pops as well as the new Saint Seiya Funko Pops currently in stock if you do need them. Well guys, that was a majority of the new announcements that you might have missed out on. Like I said before, a lot of these are actually commons. A lot of stuff that leaked out, common releases, you can find them anywhere, Entertainment Earth, Amazon, Hot Topic, etc. Pretty much every place will have them. And again, a majority of these will be dropping tomorrow, Wednesday, around 12 p.m. EST. Now, the last thing I have for you in this video is some updates from Hot Topic of lots of new things hitting their stores and their website. So first up here, the new Seven Deadly Sins Commons, the four different pops, are actually available in stock on Hot Topic's website right now, if you guys do need them. Hot Cash is also coming up, so I would urge you to maybe have a little more patience. I think it's coming up in about 12-ish days or something like that uh, sometime soon here. So again, if you have some hot cash, it might be worth waiting because I don't think these are going to sell out. Now, if you're hoping for an in-store release on the 7 Deadly Sins Pops at the moment, I didn't really see any Hot Topics have them just yet, but I'm assuming it's coming very soon within the next two weeks. As always, the best advice I can give you is follow your local Hot Topics on Instagram. They'll let you know when they have certain stock. Now, the last set of images I do have for you guys is several different Hot Topics getting in new items, like this one one getting in a lot of the new Attack on Titan pops, including the six inch one and the new moment. And these three different hot topics getting in some of the new Rudolph pops, Attack on Titan pops, Hello Kitty, as well as the Muppets Christmas and the Marvel trading cards there as well. If you do need them, they are selling singles in hot topic. And our last image here includes the new Demon Slayer mystery minis from Funko are hitting hot topic stores as well as the new Yu-Gi-Oh pops and Hello Kitty. Well guys, those are all your news updates for today. That should pretty much catch you up on the last few days if you did miss anything. Let me know down below what you're most excited about as well as if you have any questions about anything we just discussed. Drop those comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. I do want to say a big thank you for watching this video. Make sure to smash that like button down below if you did enjoy and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. I do want to say a big shout out to all the wonderful Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys rock for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and want to check it out, we do have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And finally, make sure you're following me on all my social medias at Skidor and Page over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.